welcome back now when you are navigated to this web view which is a browser view appium cannot handle this appium can do but there will be lot of instable um, automation when you use appium on your web browsers so from native app if you switch suddenly to any browser view then you have to tell to appium that i am no more in native app and ask appium to switch the context to the web view so when you switch your context to web view appium will inject selenium apis and you can use selenium language to work on that web view with you know stable results because appium is more specifically focused on native app but when you render web view on your app then you you will not get much objects to actually find and handle that web so because of that instability with appium um selenium can take and do this work better so that's the reason appium guys is asking us to switch the context from native to mobile throw your code and let me know that you are in web view context so that i will enable selenium api and it will and then you if you start writing selenium code it will work again when i say selenium there is nothing difference between appium and selenium it's all still find elements by dot id click everything is same it just invokes under hood selenium api that's it and disable appium specific capabilities now how do you tell to your appium code that you are not in the native app or if you want to switch your context to the web you have to tell explicitly to appium so then only it will help us to um, inject that selenium stuff now let me go to my browser and show hybrid app appium type this and go to their official website this one automating hybrid apps they have given neat documentation on showing how to switch your context when you are in web view and when you are dealing with the hybrid apps okay so here with java you have a method called get context handles okay so you are asking your appium to get how many context this app is currently having now and it will print two contexts one is native and one is web view because this get context handles method will scan your app and it will tell the nature of your app like how many context this app can handle so context are nothing but when you are in native view specific mobile view this context is called as a native app context but when you move to your browser view in that context we called as a web view context okay so first try to read and understand how many contexts you have print all them and thereafter once contexts are printed now if you want to switch to the web context and whatever the name it got printed for web you have to give the method called driver dot context and in the parenthesis you have to provide the context which you want to switch now for example when you do get context handles here two are printing if it is hybrid app one is native and one is a web view you have to carefully grab the id whatever it printed with get context handles and now if you want to switch your apm driver to web view context then you have to use a method called driver dot context and pass that web view id into this so that appm understands that this guy is looking to switch to context of this web view okay so once it is done here after you can enjoy your selenium stuff you can bring css selector name attributes which are not allowed in appium when you try css and name at name by dot name appium does not allow it because appium allows xpath id class name okay ui automator there are few locators which appium allows but once you switch your context 
it reads and invokes activate selenium profile here so that you can happily use CSS selector name and few more locators and continue your testing okay so this is the context concept if you want to deal with hybrid apps now after you perform some operations if you come back again to mobile app then you have to again deliberately switch saying context method switch to native app again so that it understands that that guy is back to appium and it will enable appium mode okay this is how you need to work so let's do this practically and see how this works so let me create one more class okay so i'll remove all this calculation code or oh, not this one fifth one this is no more required because we are not summing up anything here count zero sum of products is also not required let mobile gestures stay here that will not affect but still i don't want to waste time in selecting terms of conditions waiting and then i'll remove this okay now after you click on that button which navigates to web view now let's start writing the code and see the context handles driver dot get context handles is the method but you see that return type of that method is a set it is using set java collection as a return type remember this so set string some context So all the context handles, what all this app can handle are now stored in this context. Now if you want to print by retrieving all the context present in this set, okay, set is nothing but collection of strings. So all the strings, whatever context it has written, it has stored in this set Java collection, which is nothing but context variable. Now let's loop through this context and print our desired value for context name context what is this step this is not enhanced for loop which is uh, similar to what we write in the previous lectures as well so basically from this context there are set of context stored in this right retrieve each and every context on every loop if there are total two contexts in every loop one of the context will be retrieved and it will be stored in the context name and it is and available inside this block so once in every loop one of the value is getting stored here and you just print whatever it got stored in this context name that's it so that we will know what all context present in this app so let's run this sample code and see what are printing in the output then we can take those context ids to switch to the web view okay okay Execution started. After selecting that button, so right now we are getting only native app. We are not getting web view context. Do you know why? Because it selected that button but browser is still rendering it is not 
fully converted into web view before it browser opens up you are doing it very quickly and then it's saying that hey currently i can see only native app the problem is that it's before the web view is completely open we are pulling up this code okay so let me show you that So right now when you pull up the context it will say native app only because there is no web view here but after you select this button and the google page opens up you are officially in the web view and then that also will show up here now after clicking on this button you are checking immediately but here it's not still open so it's treating that there are no more web views so put some sleep maybe at least seven seconds i guess because it takes some time to open the web view mode so after it opened and now when you try to use this context handles you might see web view also as an option here okay so let's run this again and see i'll pass this video until you reach the last step because I want, I don't want to waste the video duration. So give me a second. Okay. So we are reaching the last page now. So now after clicking on this button, it will wait for seven seconds before it pull up the context handles from the app. So browser is now fully loaded. And now you see that you got two contexts here, native app and web view. Okay, these are the two different contexts you actually got on your mobile app which confirms that it is a hybrid app. Now if you want to perform any operations in web you can safely do that with selenium but only after you tell to your appium deliberately that I want to switch to the context of this web view. Copy this carefully and put it here. Perfect. So this will help you to switch to that specific context. Now after you switch to that context, now you can go and perform, continue your automation basically on that specific app. So obviously you will be in Google page and if you want to enter something in edit box. So there is a famous locator which always say constant for this edit box which is nothing but name attribute name equals to Q. You can verify through your web. Now if you want to know the and grab the objects here just go back to your browser and grab it there. Same objects will be applicable here as well or um, use that chrome debugger which i have explained on uh, real devices if you remember for real devices automation i have used chrome debugger where you can connect your mobile to the browser and inspect objects there so please follow the same process in grabbing the objects there but you can actually grab the objects from your web browser and that will reflect here as well okay now for example um, for google.com home page so there is one famous locator which always stay constant which is name um, where is that name attribute did they remove it I am sure they will not yeah here you go so I can simply say driver dot find element by dot name and send some information into this edit box Okay. You are doing this only after you switching your context and then send keys. Hello. All right. So in the next lecture, let's continue our discussion and see how can we perform some basic operations 
on this web view and how can we switch back to the native app there is one trick here I mean when I say trick it's configuration related you might see an error when you start performing some operations on web view what are those errors and how to solve those I'll be showing in my next lecture all right thank you